this is video three of the simple container series and we're going to deploy a simple container in gcp and it, it complements the managed instance groups video and in that video we created a vm a vm image we deployed these flask based services that interact with firestore and then we created a managed instance group around it so what we're going to do is we're going to take that same exact code that same flask code and we're going to build a container out of it, push that container into Google Artifact Registry, and then use GCP Run. And so what we'll be using is we'll use Firestore for the persistent data storage. That's the same thing we used in the, the other uh, video. We're going to containerize those microservices using Docker, push that container images after the build into the Google Artifact Registry, and then end up deploying the Google, uh, a Google Cloud Run instance to run that container that we deployed. So let's look at the diagram, which is very similar. We have a project, uh, or you have a project that you need to define. Then you are going to, we're going to build the artifact registry. Then we're going to build the Docker container, take that and push that into artifact registry. And then we're going to do a, a cloud run instance, which is interacting with the candidates table, interacting with the flask registry to pull that in there. The permissions are all stored on the project level, so that's a, a little bit different than the other ones. It's, it's a little bit easier to, to manage these permissions. So let's go to the prerequisites. The first thing you need is, of course, a Google Cloud account. Then you need the G Cloud CLI. Then you need Terraform. Then you have, need Postman for testing and then Docker. You also have this thing in GCP where you have to enable APIs and there's an API setup script which I will show you, uh, which will register all the APIs, but you want to, may want to manage that manually or yourself, but you do have to enable the right AMIs. Now there's also a, or APIs. You all, there's also a, um, <clears throat> a video that we did, which defines or does an easy setup of GCP and Terraform. If you've never done one of these before, you might want to do that because that just, it, it spins up a network with a simple VM and just, it does the basics. So now we're going to go and go through the build. So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to copy this code. And I have an Ubuntu development environment. So I am going to clear and I'm going to paste in that. All right, so I've downloaded the code. So the first script we want to do is check ENV. And let's go, hey, you don't have credentials.json. So you've got to upload your, your JSON file for your credentials into the project. And see, I've got it. I'm in the Flask container. I'm going to upload, and it's from my laptop credentials. And there we go. Now I should do to do check env, and you will see that uh, it's all, now all validated. So the next thing we want to do is API setup, and that's going to go and enable the APIs you needed for for the build. A couple of minutes and let it run or let it enable if you've never done it before. If you've done it the first time, then it's 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 almost instantly. So with this finish. All right, so now I think we're ready to actually do the build. So I'm gonna run apply.sh. Okay, so uh, the build has succeeded. Um, what you will notice is it does take a little bit of time for the API to come become available. So what we're going to do is do a simple smoke test. So I'm going to copy this guy right here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring up a web browser uh, tab and you can see it's, it's running. So it's connected. And the first thing we want to do is search for artifact. Artifact Registry. And so we've got the repository. It's in, it's a format of Docker. It's, uh, it's essential one. We have scanning. If we click on the instance, you can see that's the container that we just built and that's the um, checksum. So there's a to checksum. So that's the container. So now let's go into the Cloud Run interface. So let's go to Cloud Run. Um, let's go into the service and it's got a bunch of different tabs. The first one is the logs tab. So what I like about these simple runtimes is the logs are all easy to get to. 
if you've ever used Kubernetes, a logs without something like Grafana or some other log aggregation tool, it's like it's like dumpster diving. And so uh, these services allow you to get to the um, the <clears throat> logs very easily. So you can get in. Here's where it was started. So it's just a, a very easy interface to get into the logs. And then we've got revisions. And here we've got the container. It's um, has a minimum of one up to three. It's running on port 8000. And then these are the, the memory and I use very modest ones because you get charged by the resources you use. It's, it's serverless, but you have to express how many CPU units you need. And it's in millis, uh, which is a Kubernetes type of uh, um, specification. All right, so what we're going to do is run that validate script again. And we're going to get this guy right here. And I'm going to copy that into Postman. So let's do new. Let's put that in there. And now this is the first endpoint, which is just like it was in the browser. So then we're going to do git. Let's do a git on candidates. All right, candidate John percent 20 Smith. And you should see that. And then the third one, actually, this is the fourth one. I'm going to do homey one. And now when I do candidates and do get, you're going to see, there you go. So you can see all four endpoints are up and running. So at this point, um, what I recommend you do is to, you know, be a good, if you're not going to do anything more with this, is to be a good steward of your cloud account. And let's go ahead and run destroy.